Hello, it's Spence, the Evil Genius, with your WordPress tip of the day. Hey guys, today I've got a great tip for you. It's an alternative to my favorite plugin, Gravity Forms. This one is called Visual Form Builder, and if you're sticking with the free versions of stuff, it's a wonderful alternative to an additional free one I like called Contact Form 7. Now, the beauty of Visual Form Builder is it has most of the same features as Gravity Forms at the basic level. I mean, the WYSIWYG, the drag and drop, the ability to have different sections and so forth. So it's a really, really powerful situation for you if you're doing a project for a client and they don't want to otherwise shell out maybe for the pro version or for the licensing. Now, just to give you a cost comparison too, Visual Form Builder, as I'm going to show you, is free. Out of the box, Gravity Forms is pay only, which again, is not a bad thing. It's a very powerful plugin, but you start at $39 for a personal license and go up to $199 for a developer. Here, Visual Form starts out at free, as again, I'm going to show you, but then you can alternatively check out the Visual Form Builder Pro, and they've done a similar thing as Gravity Forms, but with a few more options. You've got the idea of the plugin only, or the plugins with the add-on bundle, the add-ons with the additional stuff, for example, some of the things are like PayPal capability, advanced PayPal, third-party notifications, etc. And it goes on from there, developer license and developer bundle. So either way, you get a lot of options. Now, let's talk about what this thing does so you can get an idea which one you might want to use. I've gone ahead and set up a really simple contact form here at our lab playground site. And this is just to demonstrate that one of the things this does really nicely is it gives you these areas uh, that you can put the various form fields into. And then it also has a separate area that you can use for verification. Verification will be the differentiation between yourself, let's say, as the admin, or yourself and somebody who's a member or somebody who is already a participant in the site. And it gives you the ability to kind of only show things to people depending on their role. And I'll give you more of that in a second. To install the plugin is like any other plugin. We start out at Plugins, Add New. And what you're going to do here is just, like we've shown in many videos, type in Visual Form Builder search for the plugin and it's free in the WordPress repository for the basic level. We've installed it so it says here installed but as you know it will normally say install now and we've also gone ahead and activated it so it shows up over here in our installed plugins area. Let's see where it is right here okay. Now for the settings it gives its own tab which is nice right here and let's go ahead and start out with what we're going to do from scratch. In order to create a new one, just like with Gravity Forms, we need to name it and make it different than the other one. So we click Add New, and we would say something like New Form, and you can put in your company name, maybe Spencer Foreman Company, and then the reply to email, which is important for what the response of every input uh, or submission of a form will go to. In other words, which email. And in this case, we might do Spencer at firstwebdesigner.com. You could do the email subject and to from uh, and to field as well, but I can do that later. So I'm going to save it. And when we create the form, then we can go ahead and edit. Now, basically, you might be familiar with this if you've seen Gravity Forms because it's a very, very similar situation. You've got your fields on the left, including a special one called a field set and another one called a section. The field sets basically think of like the container that will hold the various fields. You can have a special field set also called a verification that will also give you a couple things out of the box. For example, you can have this secret two digit code, or you can have something here like your submit button, and you can use an alternative to that. In other words, you can type in anything you want to say, like um, give us the form, whatever. Uh, when you want to add fields, just like with gravity forms, you're going to go ahead and literally uh, click on whichever one you want to add. So let's say, for example, I wanted to add an email field goes ahead and pops it into the field set. Maybe I want people to give me their phone number. And these are all customizable. Uh, you can go ahead and have various things. For example, like you can validate if this email is legitimate. Does it have the right format? You could say whether it's required or not. The size of the field, small, medium, large. And the layout, which is actually handy. I like this one even better than Gravity Forms. Is it going to be in the left half, the right half, the left third, the middle third, the left two thirds? It's really a simple way of doing it, but it's quite easy and it doesn't require any CSS knowledge. However, you can also propagate it with a default value. For example, if you're recommending somebody type in something. And you can also add custom CSS classes. So if you do have a little bit of knowledge of CSS, you can tweak these really well. Now, once we save all this stuff, click on save form, 
we'll end up with something we can then go ahead and embed in a page. Now I've created another one over here before and this is a simple contact form. So let's take a look what I did before. And really all I did was I said I want this top aligned and I put in the email information. I also said how I want the confirmation to go. And so here you have the ability, for example, just like with Gravity Forms, when somebody submits the form information, you can either uh, give them some text that comes up across the screen, you can direct them to a page and select one from your availables, or you could send them to an outside URL. In this case, I just have a little message that says, thanks, your form was successfully submitted. The email, of course, we've talked about. And lastly, notifi notification here is what goes to you or to them that a form was submitted. By default, it only goes to you, but if you check this box, you can also say where else it's gonna go. This could go to the person themselves or that could go to uh, somebody else on your team. Very similar to Gravity Forms, so I'm not telling you anything you haven't seen before. Here with this form, I just did some basic info, first name, last name, email, phone, and verify here with a secret two-digit code and a submission. Now, if we go ahead and see this in action, I went over to a page that I created very simply using regular page, add new, and when I did, I'll open it here. All we do is the WYSIWYG add-on. Now, what I did here is you'll notice there's two buttons. I've actually got Gravity Forms as WYSIWYG editor, and I've got side by side the Visual Form Builder. Now you won't have both if you're only running one or the other, but you can see they're very similar. And all that happens is you put the mouse cursor where you want it, click Add Form, and then select which form you want to submit. I already put in the contact form, but I can also add a second form for some strange reason if I want it, and they would both display. Let me show you what just the contact form looks like. So I update this, and when we look at the resulting page, we've got the contact form that I just described. Now, I wanna show you what happens. I can log out of here, and we'll have a difference on the verification, because remember, it knows that I'm the admin, so it's not gonna waste my time making me verify. But if I was a stranger, let's see what happens. If I was not logged in under that role, I'm gonna log out, and then I'm gonna go back to this page, and I'm gonna reload it. And see now, it requires you to put in the two-digit code, right? And also the other details. Fred Smith, Fred Smith at labsecrets.com. Notice those are required fields. 312, 344, 3280, and submit. And then it'll give me the nice, the form was successfully submitted. Thanks for contacting us. So you're familiar with the rest of this. Basically, the thing that's really interesting about the Visual Form Builder is that it's somewhere in the middle between uh, Contact Form 7 and Gravity Forms. And yet, since it's free, it'll allow you all the kind of things that you really need to do for a basic setup without having, let's say, the immediate concerns over the licensing key or developer key that you would with the Gravity Forms. And I'm not 100% sure as to whether or not once you get into the premiums, they compare side by side because I am still a big fan of Gravity Forms, but absolutely, for a free option, Visual Form Builder is something you want to check out and keep us posted. Let us know what kind of cool things you've been able to do with it. Until then, this is Spence, the evil genius. I'll see you next time.